back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl how are you doing we're doing another pick a card and we're just gonna see who wants to spend time with you this weekend we are using our intuition so choose your pile wisely feel welcome to choose more than one this is pile number one this is pile number two and this is pile number three just breathe with me take what resonates timestamps down below yes how are you guys doing i hope you're doing great i hope life is treating you very well i'm trying to find my remote i feel like this uh, background noise is a bit too loud so we need to turn it down yes okay so who wants to spend time with you this weekend i get asked this question a lot like a whole lot <laughs> and if you guys like this yeah definitely let me know and we'll do it we'll do it every we'll do it every week um to to see who wants to spend time with you this weekend let's get in to pile number one thank you so much for watching Okay, so you got your channel message. You got Embrace. I'm loving that. That is so sweet. Um, through each other, you find the missing pieces. So this is clearly someone that is a great hugger, okay? Someone who likes to hug you. They give great... This is... Uh, this is um, their, their love language is hugging okay touch physical touch um these are just some possibilities of channel messages how you might know this person we're obviously going to get more into the tarot and get to know more details but we have engineer okay we have foreigner we have whole foods market mm, i feel like this person i don't know are they a manager at whole foods market are they just a manager in general um, kind of getting what I'm picking up intuitively from these cards that I pre-shuffled. I'm getting the vibe that this is someone who likes to eat different foods. They like exploring different types of food. This could be a health nut. Um, definitely someone who speaks multiple languages. And someone who's crafty, really good with their hands, okay? They could be really good at cooking food. Um, this is an authoritative personality. This is someone who has, like, a go-getter type of vibe. But let's just see in the tarot. Who is this person that wants to spend time with my pile number one, okay? Um, who wants to spend it? with you you could have met this person at whole foods market i'm hearing that let me know down in the comments of what's really good okay um who is this person who wants to spend time with you and why who wants to spend time with my pile number one and why oh Oh, we got the three of swords. Um, yeah, there definitely could, there could be some distance between you guys, or there could have been some sort of separation, or something that possibly came between you guys. Yeah, maybe this is new, but there's some distance between you, or yeah, there could even be a language barrier. Um, why they want to spend time with you? I feel like they want to spend time with you because they miss you. Even if they just met you yesterday. It's like, I want to get to know you better, okay? Um, who is this person? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Wow. This is someone who's very open-minded, who they could be young, they could be into dating, wanting to be single, not be tied down, but also they could just, if that's not the case, I mean, they're just very open-minded and they're fun and they like new things. This could be a Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius. 
um, Gemini, okay, um, oh yeah, so this is somebody who's smart, they're fun, they're interesting, and for some of you, yeah, this could be fairly new, is what I'm picking up, so yeah, find out more about this person, and talk to them about different countries and cultures, cancer energy coming through, um, this could be someone who has a nice car, someone who's very disciplined, who likes to work out, um, someone that definitely has the gift of gab, and you got a strong hold on this person, you got this person thinking that you know it all, okay, could be a Leo, alright, um, coming through, I don't know why I said cancer, that's interesting, guys, let me know, because this is clearly Leo, so, yeah, I feel like this person, mm, they feel like you, you get it, it's, you, you don't let them get away with anything, it's always a really great time with you, with this three of swords here, let me see, is this long distance, or, um, is this you, right, who is this three of swords, and is this a long distance, What's the Three of Swords about? Oh, okay. This could be some sort of disagreement. So maybe you guys got into it. Maybe you had some beef. Maybe something happened. And there was a little drama. Maybe you won an argument and they're mad about that. But anyways, I feel like this person definitely wants to get over it i feel like they want to spend time with you i love it they definitely do because we have the seven of pentacles on the bottom okay of the deck the seven of roses i feel like yeah expect this person to you know they're gonna make a small gesture they could make a small gesture and maybe invite you out just like if you're hot-headed or if you know they they have a temper or something i don't know just kind of watch how you talk to this person i get the vibe that they could be quite, um, quite the sensitive type, okay? And we don't need that drama, all right? I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, look at how she is right here, like, grabbing his head, and he's just like, okay, fine. I guess so. You're right. Like, you know? But they're, like, so attracted to you at the same time. And this person definitely feels like you have a lot of options. Maybe this person has a lot of options. You let me know. Um, definitely with this exploring, this is a really good time. Um, right now, yeah, just be careful. You know, talking about work too much, I feel like this person could feel like if, you, if you're talking about work too much, that could annoy this person. So I feel like this person could kind of make you feel like you're walking on eggshells. I mean, they're, they are a good hugger. We do have embraced here, so um, that tells me that they're really good huggers. Something about someone holding someone's head is what I'm seeing, or stroking someone's hair is coming through really strong in this reading. Let's just kind of see really quick, like, what are they going to do next? And then we'll get some more details about who this person is. Um, yeah, I feel like they definitely gonna, they're going to invite you out to have a drink, maybe talk, chill. Um, don't let them force that on you. Don't let them force, you know, being intimate on you. Um, or they could even invite you to go out with their family, okay? So just let me know what happens. I'm going to just pull a few more cards. Let's get some melanin and romance and just see what other information wants to come up. Lucky person who wants to spend time with you and some advice. Okay. Who wants to spend time. Okay. And number two. I don't know if I mentioned we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But anyway, I know you guys like hearing about the signs. Yeah, definitely this person, they just feel like they had so many good memories with you, bad memories with you, and that you guys can get through any freaking thing. So if you feel like, you know, advice, if you feel like you want to make it up with this person, with this memories, and music is definitely involved. This is giving me longevity. So if this is new, this person is 
if this is someone you've been with on again off again this person wants to continue to make memories if this is new this person's like and you guys had an issue it's like oh my god yeah like i think we can work this out i want to make memories with this person so let's see if we can get some more profile number one oh like the whole thing on deck just almost wanted to fly out of my hand um Mm, okay, definitely this person could be biracial. Um, this person is interesting. There are many layers to this person. We have 32 flavors. This person tastes delicious. Like, they smell good. Oh, mm. Don't be surprised if this person invites you out for some ice cream. I'm just saying. I'm hearing my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard so some of you yeah could definitely be dealing with air sign water sign energy um music is definitely involved here also that's super cute um let's just get one more and see who wants to spend time with you this weekend oh date night someone who's actually making plans so this you guys um yeah, I, why did I just hear some something scandalous? Like, this could have been someone you met out on a date night. That is scandalous. What? Anyways, you guys are going to get invited out, all right? Um, this person is planning a fabulous date night, or either they talk about it. They're going to call you because they want to make up something with this three of feathers. They want to make up some sort of heart break or yeah something that happened expect that if you want to make up with this person go out with them if you don't then you know i don't know tell them you got to wash your hair yeah definitely this could have been someone that you guys had an ending with so um endings and beginnings could be a scorpio all right um could be any zodiac sign they want to repeat with you they want to start over especially if this person has experienced some sort of loss in their life that's another clue that this could be that person um who that person is let me know what your intuition is telling you about this reading in the comments and don't forget to press like share subscribe 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 and click that notification bell i'll see you in your next reading until then namaste peace and love hi pile two if you chose this image this illustration this channel message we have let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives so the person who wants to spend time with you it could possibly be someone that has been kind of um giving you the cold shoulder almost or like you know maybe this person is yeah love never claims it simply allows and gives so maybe someone that you've been giving more space than necessary you know um that's who wants to spend time with you so definitely let's just get some more channeled messages um this person is well dressed this person could be shy i'm getting really strong cancerian energy um, this person could be a public speaker, okay? I'm definitely getting INFJ energy, and this person could be a homeowner. So, a homeowner. So, I do feel like maybe this person works in, um, like, real estate or something like that. Um, this person could, I don't know why I'm hearing, could work with children. Um, this person definitely could be on a platform or have some sort of public recognition, um well dressed okay so i'm getting corporate energy but then again it could be any 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 person um that you know like on a more personal level why am i being guided to pull more from my channel message deck for pile number two i guess you guys were like um just pull like two more and see Let's see if we can get some more specifics. Yeah, you could have met this person. Oh, yeah, this person is a boss, okay? 
So this person could be an entrepreneur. This person just has a bossy go-getter. I'm hearing big, you know what, energy. Okay. So yeah. Um now let's see who this person is and why do they want to spend time with my pile number two? Let's grab some tarot. Yes. Why do they want to spend time with pile number two? Yes. I definitely am seeing someone showing a house here with this homeowner. So, yeah, you could have met them at some sort of fashion event, home events, house opening. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, hopefully this isn't someone who is unavailable. We do have the Seven of Swords. Um, or this could be someone who's insecure. Even though they're a boss, they could be a little bit intimidated by you. Because, uh, yeah. Um, all right, that's interesting. Seven of Swords. Let's get some more and see. What's this person hiding? What are they like intimidated by? Um, the four of them. I feel like this this person maybe has a little bit more clout or recognition, or they're more interested in you than they're kind of letting on here with this four of roses, four of pentacles. Okay, this definitely could be someone who works in finances and someone who's like. You know, I'm wanting you all to myself. You know, they could have issues with like making decisions really quickly. Um, hopefully this isn't someone that <laughs> is making you think about leaving someone else. Okay. Um, I'm hearing that. Yeah, this is someone that's maybe spending time with someone else and thinking about you. And the reason I say that is because we do have the Seven of Feathers, which is a Seven of Swords, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Really strong, Scorpionic energy. Mm, you know, this is Libra season that we're in right now. And it just kind of feels like there is this imbalance there's something that this person could be hiding from you or that you don't know. And if things are not working out, if you're with this person and you're just acting like you're not into them, you don't care what they're doing. You don't care whether they stay or leave. Okay. This person's like, what the hell? So it can go both ways. You guys let me know, but definitely a trip is in the subconscious here and going somewhere um, a vacation so yeah not only they want to take you somewhere this weekend but this person yeah it's like we're either going or we're saying is the vibe wow and you know what's funny um i i feel like this could be this could be someone that things just didn't work out in the past Okay, for some of you, this could be a past person. If this isn't a past person, this could be somebody that is like, you wanted a love connection, but it, it seemed like things couldn't get, things couldn't get too serious because maybe this person was like holding back in some sort of way. Um, I just wanted to take that one in reverse, even though the deck was upside down. I just felt guided to do that because I do read in reverse and this one flew out in reverse. Okay, yeah, this is the Eight of Pentacles um, in reverse. It's just like, you know, it could be somebody you don't want to deal with or it could just be somebody that reminds you of someone that you don't want to deal with. But if I were you, you know what? I will probably take a chance. I probably wouldn't allow this connection to like have me stuck in the past, you know? Um, or just be proud of yourself that this person you knew wasn't any good, that was kind of toxic, that you were able to let that energy go. And it's like this person still wants to spend time with you, okay? For some of you, you could have worked with this person. And it's like, oh, God. I'm glad that's over, you know? Um, but yeah, I hope it's someone that 
you know, it's just been rocky, but that you want to spend time with them. Let's say this Ace of Cups was upright. Up, up this is definitely giving me a vibe of like, you know, maybe it's someone that you that reminds you of someone from your past. And it's, there's things about them that you like and you don't like, but it's like, dang, you know, um, maybe when they're out in public with you, they, you know, they know how to handle themselves. But then like when you're alone with them, oh my goodness. When you're alone with them, they're kind of shy, you know? Um, very interesting. I really wish that I could keep going deeper. This person is a great communicator. Um, yeah, I feel like you, you would have really great communication with this person. And maybe you had that in the past, but you know, maybe you have the communication is there, but then there's something that is lacking when it comes to trust. Because often the Ace of Cups reverse could feel like, you know, it's like you have your to-do list in love, but then there's just something that is missing from that to-do list, you know? And definitely you guys could be seeing feathers everywhere when this person is thinking of you. And hopefully you are in communication with them, but if you're not, just know that. They're going to be communicating with you because obviously they want to spend time with you this weekend, right? Let's put that Ace of Swords there. All right, definitely could be someone from your past or childhood, friend, childhood memories are coming up. And then let's see, um, any more um, intuitive psychic messages want to come through for my pile number two. Don't forget to press like, guys. Share, subscribe. All right. For pile number two. Let's see. Oh, somebody is feeling less soulmate energy, soulmate connection. Oh, yeah. This could definitely be a Libra, okay, that you're dealing with. And this person could be thinking about taking things to the next level. This person thinks long term, okay? So whether they're being serious with you or not, at the core of who this person is with this judgment, yeah, this person could work in some sort of legal system. They could have like a suit and tie type of job. But even if that's not the case, the psychic intuitive message is like, this person is a great judge of character, okay? And when they choose someone, they choose them. And if they did something wrong, expect them to apologize. If you want to see this person and spend time with them, just go ahead. They really do find you to be feminine, attractive, and just nurturing and patient. There's something regal and royal about you. Your communication, the way you dress, the way you put on, especially if you have children or if you're a really good aunt or uncle, it's like, wow, you know, this person thinks about long term that's kind of how they're seeing you that's why they want to like spend time with you this weekend and let's get another one yeah forgiveness and healing i'm so glad that this came out because this really makes sense with the whole reading right so yeah this could just be someone who wants to heal um or mend some sort of disagreement or you know hiccup in your connection and your relationship like they want to mend this could also be someone who is broken and they're looking at you and your divine feminine energy and they're just like man she's so dope he's so dope like they they know exactly what i need they know what i want and yeah you're gonna be healing each other through something hopefully this weekend let me know um what's your intuition thought about this reading don't forget to press like like share share subscribe click the notification bell and i'll see you soon in your next reading until then namaste peace and love hi pile number three if you chose this image this channel message wow beautiful wow okay so look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way yeah you probably are so whole within yourself maybe you're not looking for anyone or oh your energy is just so beautiful i'm getting superstar vibes i'm getting like knowing how to love you're coming off as someone who just really knows how to love yourself <laughs> Um, and yeah, wow, this is powerful. Okay. 
a lot of channel messages coming through so this um you're, you could have met this person at a nightclub we got nightclub we got singer songwriter we got cnn and we got amazon oh my god so random <laughs> Okay, um, this person could could definitely be someone who is creative. I'm also hearing like actor, singer, musician. Um, this person could be in media, some sort of media. This person could watch CNN. Literally, it could just be something as simple as that. Um, Amazon. I'm definitely getting that this person works for an online shopping company, or they're like, they are just into online shopping they give really good gifts but definitely there's something about fun and exciting too with this nightclub this is definitely someone they could be inviting you to some of these places too all right so <laughs> i'm also hearing like they like to give gifts from amazon yeah so if that doesn't resonate it's okay um it might be for someone else i'm being guided to pull maybe one more to see who is this person. Okay, let's get some more psychic messages for pile number three. Who wants to spend time with you this weekend? Wow, okay, we got nurse. So this person could be a nurse or they could be really nurturing and loving and kind, but knowledgeable when it comes to like foods and herbs, okay? Be like a spiritual doctor like a root worker too okay wow a lot of information coming through now let's just see um who is this person in my pile number three and why do they want to spend time with you this weekend if you guys like this don't forget to let me know that you want to see this every week because we'll do it every week if you like this oh this could definitely be um someone who knows how to send fun text messages okay i'm just gonna say that their text messaging communication definitely lets you put your guards down in more ways than one okay i'm just all right this is already getting kind of hot and spicy um for some of you yeah this could definitely be someone who works like um, um, maybe in the fashion industry, they don't have to. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. But, you know, this could be an Aries Leo Sag. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, this is somebody who, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, they're sexy because they've been through, they've been through something and they just know how to just, dis they're, they're disarming you. They're disarming you with their communication is what I'm going to say. They could have, ooh, Scorpio energy coming through. They could definitely have um, a really strong transformative uh, communication skills. Seven of Swords, again, wanting to come through. Let me find out. Let me give this another shuffle. Some of you might want to go back and watch pile um, number two. But yeah, I definitely want to see what's up with this person for my pile number three. Okay, who is this person? And why do they want to spend time with you? Well, for sure, if you've been behaving in any sort of mysterious way with this death card, yeah, if you've been behaving any any sort of way like that, oh my god, I just I literally just said that, and this is the four of cups, the four of shells. Oh because you'd be acting like you don't even care. You'd be like Ugh and what like what i don't want i don't even hear i can't oh my goodness okay yeah um if someone's acting that way towards you it's definitely a front because meanwhile they're like alone having a good time with themselves and thinking about you okay just like how i had to blur this out all right so yeah i'm just saying uh, if you've been playing this person off, if you've been kind of avoiding them or not talking to them, not speaking to them, yeah, it's making this person feel like you're not interested. So if you, this is going to be someone I would say that you really are interested in, but you're not letting them know that you're interested in them, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, it's that person. Um, let's get some more clues. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. All right. 
Let's see. Oh, yeah. You're just coming off as this queen of wands. You're coming off so hot to them. And it's just like, mm, you know? You got this person's Kundalini chakra popping off. Like, they feel so connected to you from their root chakra to their crown chakra. And they feel like you can read their mind. Some of them think, like, did you put a spell on me? Did you put a hex on me? You know, who are you working with? You know, but you're not doing anything but just owning who you are and knowing your worth okay so this person wants to spend time with you because you know your worth and because of just simply how fabulous you really are you know they do they think you're so hot they think you're so sexy they think you're so fabulous that's the vibe even if you're a masculine watching this yeah it's like mm, you're giving off all the good vibes all the good waves okay yeah for some of you this could be um oh my god oh my god oh my god that's so cute i love it i'll take that this could be like a situation where you know you're healing each other through some sort of past trauma okay here with this king of cups okay so more cancer pisces scorpio aries leo sag is coming through um, I am getting Taurus energy as well. So if some of you are dealing with a Taurus, right, that energy, I'm just picking that up. I'm going to pull some more cards. Um, this person definitely feels connected to you on a very deep and spiritual level. Even if this connection is new, um, yeah, it could be any fixed sign energy, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo energy. We do have the world. So for some of you, this could be someone that you met online. And they're just coming back around. You know, your relationship has ups and downs. This is who wants to spend time with you. And they do. Because, to be honest, um, you might have blocked them. Did you block them online? Let me know if you blocked them online, okay? Um, <laughs> who wants to spend if you want to spend time with them, you should unblock them. I'm just saying. So let's get another one. Let's spend time with you this weekend. Ooh, okay. It could be someone that you left the ball in their court. All right, yeah, definitely someone that you broke their heart. This is someone you broke. You you broke their heart. Or this could be someone who suffers from depression, you know, and that's not good. I hope that's not the case. I mean, only you know, but yeah, we do have the five of cups here. We also have the king of cups. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's not someone who made you sad and that you had to walk away from. I don't see you being in that energy, so you might have walked away from this person. But maybe this person is just a good time for, like, the moment and it's like you're over them, but maybe they want to spend time with you. I hope that's not the case. Yeah, I just feel like... Oh, let's get another vibe with that five of cups. Okay, don't be don't be spending time with people that have sad, sad stories to tell all the time. Okay, um, oh my gosh, yeah. Hopefully, okay. I know this is a love reading, but for some of you, this could be some red flag energy. I'm just saying. So be careful with this. Um, yeah, other person's energy, you know, inviting someone who, you know, they're just not invited to the party. They're just not invited to the party. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see if we can get some more information and see who's this person. Oh my God, this deck is not even in reverse. Okay, definitely the person who wants to spend time with you, like, they might they're gonna give you give you a gift they're, they're they 
They like giving gifts, but sometimes you don't like the gifts that they give. I don't know. That's for some of you. This reading started to go in a little bit of a different direction. So, yeah, if you're interested in a personal reading, um, all of the information is linked in the description below. Okay? So, yeah, the person who wants to spend time with you, yeah, hopefully they're not just talking and, like, they really come through and actually spend that time with you. And yeah, it could be someone who you've been waiting for for a while, you know, and it's going to just be the right timing or their impulse is going to tell them to call you and text you. So yeah, definitely be ready. That's what I'm getting also too. Like, oh my God, like, you know, you get invited and then you're not ready. Oh my God. This could be a Cinderella situation too. Like someone you least expect. So just kind of get ready is what I'm getting. Let's get another one. For pile number three. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is someone, seriously, that you're going to meet just by chance. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, you could just meet this person by chance. You could just run into them, and it's like your whole world, your whole life changes. You know, so whoever wants to spend time with you, honestly, I feel like... It's going to be someone who you want to spend time with, but maybe you've already been through something with this person. Could be in this time, lifetime, could be in another lifetime, okay? Wow, very deep. This weekend is going to be um, transformative because we have transformation on the bottom of the deck. So there is something amazing that's going to change between you and this person that you get to hang out with this weekend because they want to they want to spend time with you now if you don't get to hang out with them just allow this just be in your divine masculine energy even if you're feminine and just be patient be kind be understanding because i definitely feel that there is some sort of divine timing that's coming through and this this person could also be a mom or a dad and be having some sort of family issues so you know just let this divine timing happen with this divine masculine energy and i'll see you guys soon in your next reading if you like this don't forget to press like share subscribe comment let me know what your intuition is telling you about this reading and i'll see you soon in your next reading until then namaste peace and love